Europe's fur business is booming. Many of the fashion houses and designers who deserted it in the 1990s are once again enveloping their customers in fox and mink. Like it or not, it is legal and it's licensed, which is more than you can say for some other products hanging on Europe's racks. Here, for instance, is a coat which was bought in Berlin. Now, this is made horribly from 42 Alsatian puppies. It's a full-length fur coat, and it costs a considerable amount of money. It's uh, made in China, no Chinese markings, but no label on it at all to indicate that it's dog fur. And it's been DNA tested in the University of Amsterdam and confirmed as a dog fur. Struan Stevenson is a Scottish Conservative member of the European Parliament and the man leading the political charge against the trade in dog and cat fur, a trade based primarily in China, which he says is dumping two million pelts into Europe every year. I'm a farmer, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, blood and I've seen you know, a lot of things with animals in my time. I'm not uh, a softy when it comes to this. But I love dogs and I love cats and I just cannot stand this kind of wanton cruelty. And these are cages with six dogs stuffed in a cage being unloaded outside a slaughterhouse in Guangzhou. Here's a cage full of cats and they're all heading to be strangled with pulls, with nooses on the end. Here are the skins. Here's the basin where the... the uh, skinning material is, is uh, placed. And these are these poor dogs within minutes of being slaughtered. With the help of animal welfare investigators, Struan Stevenson has collected some grotesque product lines being offered to European customers. This rug is made of the fur of four golden retrievers and was bought in a shop in Copenhagen. Often these are reared in the cold north of China so this, the fur becomes more lustrous. He wants these products banned. The World Trade Organization won't do so on animal welfare grounds, but he says this is consumer fraud. Well, of course, people wouldn't buy cat and dog fur products if they knew it was cat and dog fur. In the European community, uh, most people have uh, cats and dogs in their homes. These are companion animals. The trouble is they don't know what they're buying. These things are on sale in every country in Europe. I bought this one in Scotland, in my own country. I've seen them in the duty-free area of Malaga Airport. These have been tested, DNA tested, and bizarrely, these little cat figurines are made out of dog. They are killing dogs to make little cat toys. And of course, the labels will describe this either as a mythical animal, like a sabaki, gay wolf, Asian jackal, things that don't exist. But the European Commission is not responding very enthusiastically to his demands. We're checking uh, the rules on imports. Uh, we have uh, already said to member states that if they want to, they can ban it for imports. And Denmark and I believe Italy have done so. Um, we are also checking our own labeling rules. Uh, but obviously, you know, at the moment we have Mr. Stevenson um, again and again making these allegations, but we haven't seen any proper evidence. Well, how about this? An undercover video shot by a Humane Society investigator who came to Belgium back in February, posing as a buyer of cat furs. He was enthusiastically welcomed and shown an extensive range. What is this? That's also cats. That's very nice. Yeah, wow. Pieces, you see? Oh, and you make this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because we make it summertime when we don't have too much pork. It's, so that, it's, it's really beautiful. This is from China, uh, China well, somewhere in the region, anyway. So you oh. buy from China? We, we buy from, yeah, so you so go many, there. Some everywhere. You've been there? No, mm. we have people who buy it from. It's English people who are buying there for us. Not only did the investigators reveal a thriving trade, they were also told not all the cat and dog farms are in China. They're in Belgium too. Family pets and strays being rounded up and killed for their fur. Where do they come from? Where do these skins come from? Belgium. Are they farmed or are they just collected like strays? 
uh, I think these one, these particular ones have been farmed. Farmed, right. Yes. Here in Belgium? Yes. In the yes. town, in, in Ghent, in, in Brussels, when cats run around, too many cats, they catch them and then they kill them. So they're wild, they're not anybody's pet cat. Oh, no. No. No, they're wild. But you never know, when. Eh? In the face of mounting, often compelling evidence, the European Commission continues to argue that cats and dogs are not being farmed for their fur in Europe. And despite concern about cruel practices in faraway countries, there seems little willingness either.